Hi all, this is Master Muncher, and welcome to another 1v1 Unified Battle episode to the channel. Today we are fighting with our Bestatus, or Crossbowmen, or Armor Piercing Monsters, as I like to call them, because they just melt anything and everything that gets into range. 100 men, 6 morale, 6 mana attacks, 5 mana defense, 8 charge bonus, 6 armor, 130 range, 5 reload skill, 20 accuracy, 25 ammunition, resistance to morale shocks, no real abilities. Even their reload skill, they fire very slowly, and the, even though the accuracy is it's very low, the actually is not that bad, so it's a mis misleading. And they do ignore armor, one of you pointed out a while back, which is really cool and interesting. But yeah, a bit overpowered, but super cool unit to have. Not as good as Mus uh, Kibusius and Musketeers, in my opinion, just because of the range difference, but that's because of the mods that we're using. Which are in the... the um, all the mods are in the links, sorry, the links of the mods are in the description of the video. My bad, uh, words. <laughs> but there you have it. Today we are fighting the Shushokabe clan, the superior archer clan of Shogun 2 Total War. And we are fighting the Shoshokabe Yumi Ashigaru, the bow Ashigaru unit. So, the the Bestatus, the crossbowman defeated all of them besides the, the monk bow, which he beat us actually, which was really fun. They have, but these guys have numbers, and since we melt armor, it doesn't really matter if they have high armor or not. So, 160 men, 4 morale, 6 melee attack, 5 melee defense, 12 charge bonus, 2 armor, 125 range, so a bit less than us, 5 less, 15 reload skill, 30 accuracy, 25 ammunition. They do have the ability to increase range, but the AI doesn't really do them, and they do have uh, the... the is that the flame? The flame arrows, yeah. So there you have it, guys. We'll start walking towards them. And we'll see if we are able to quickly just kill them all. Because they do... They might be an inferior archer unit, even to our crossbowmen. But they do have 60 more soldiers. So it's 60 more arrows flying at us at the same time. That does make a big difference. Even with our first uh with our uh, extra range we'll we will probably re um release our volley first we'll fire first but they will fire again and probably fire a second time quicker than us but it's really the morale so unupgraded i feel the orbis status or crossbowmen will win but when they are fully upgraded in the second fight they might actually have a good proper chance of beating us so let's see i might be wrong i have been proven wrong multiple times during this series which i have no issue that's why i like doing these matchups without actually knowing the result so it's fun for all of us we're just running a bit just to get into range and they still haven't really moved but that's okay we're gonna get into range very soon they're moving now and we're releasing the volley and one volley, ooh, killed 33 of them. Okay, they released one volley, killed only one of us. That was not very good. And they broke. <laughs> ah, Shigaru units. Jesus Christ, after one volley, we killed how many? 33 in one go, and they broke. <laughs> so there you have it. Let's see if fully upgraded they actually stay in fight. Because they have so many soldiers, they must, be, they must do better than this. So let's see you guys in a little bit. Hi all, welcome to the second fight of the episode. Uh, still fighting with our prestatus or crossbowmen and upgraded against the Shoshokabe Yumi Ashigaru, the bow Ashigaru. Um, last time we released one volley, killed 33 of them, and they released one, killed one of us, and uh, broke and fled. So let's see, fully upgraded now with 12 morale, 10 mil attack, 13 mil defense, with 33 reload skill now and 48 accuracy, if they will hold at least after one volley of our crossbowmen because we do have five more range than they do. But now they should at least survive one and see if their superior numbers make a difference because that's the advantage that they have is really the superior numbers. They have 60 more soldiers than we do. So let's see if this time is a bit different. Our bestatives are calmly walking towards them. Still not getting too close. So let's just wait a bit more before we tell them to run. Are they still fresh? Nah, scratch that. Let's start running and get the gutting range quickly. They have 60 more soldiers than us. Like, numbers need to count with, like, range. Like, it's more arrows. More arrows hit us. So, like, pfft. Even if we kill 33 again, they still have 30 soldiers advantage over us. And the range difference is only 5 meters. It's not, like, that substantial. 
and we take ages to fire, so we we'll release the first volley. Wow, we feel even more this time. Our general is in grave we killed one. My lord. They haven't broke. Broken. All right. <laughs> yeah, no, they're, they're, they're gonna lose bad. Killed two of us. Yeah, they're breaking. Oh, they're not. They are. They're not. They are. They're not. Oh no. Oh, they're not. Kudos to them. Wait, what? What? Oh no, they did break. All right. <laughs> that was a bit weird, so that's why I, I did that. There you have it, guys. There you have it. Uh, the Shoshokabe Yumi Ashigato did not even live up to my low expectations. They killed four of us, gave a couple of wallets for the upgraded, but we killed how many? 63, that was ridiculous. We just melted them and then just started running. So there you have it. Not that I'm surprised that the crossbowmen and the orbit status did one, it's just how bad they did. But there you go, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this one if you want. Hope you all enjoyed. And see you guys next time.